Yo, I stepped into a time machine and went back in time to look at what raid feels like in 2020 June. Far back when 1.13 was the version that players was playing back then and I want to poke around and find out how the game used to feel like, what champions was available then, what battles used to be like at that point. So bear with me as we explore this old version of the game so we can find out how far and appreciate how far Raid has come in this celebration of their fifth uh, anniversary, right? Fifth anniversary celebration that they are doing right now. So join, with, join me for this um, little video. That I wanted to put out to explore this. The tavern looks the same, even if when festivities do comes up, it changes. But there are some few things you just acknowledge right from the beginning, right here. Campfire was um, empty, right? So I'll always be comparing it to the current version where you have the forge as the current campfire. This is my current version of raid. So that's one thing that stands out for those players joining the game and see a forge where you can get awesome artifacts that you can craft for almost doing nothing in the game just by beating faction war maybe doom tower you get some of those crazy new artifacts it was not there back then in 2020 and it was only from dungeons you could actually get artifacts or maybe from clan boss and some other content so this was a huge addition and improvement of places where you can get amazing artifacts especially for newer players so that's campfire that just caught my eye the next thing that if you head over to the sparring pit you see that it looks like a normal sparring pit, yes, but it did not have the extra features back then in 2020 June in version 1.13. This is all you had to do with the sparring pit. It was not the chain name was not changed. You just come in here, you pit, put a champion in there that you wanna, you know, get some levels of on them. That's the only thing you could do with the sparring pit. So fast forward to 2024, you now have the sparring pit now called Guardian Ring. But it still have the old sparring pit in here where you can still add champions. It's still the same thing. They still get XP on them. But now you have faction guardians added, empowerment, unbinding of champions, and token trader. That's not just one feature that has been added over time in this guardian ring. That's four different things that you can do besides just old sparring pit that it was before. That's also an improvement, right? So whether you like these changes or not, you can agree with me that that's huge progress from one content that was available to now five or four different things that you can do in this same content. Like most likely it's all for free, right? You get a champion, faction guardians, you can put duplicate champions in there and get some bonus stats. It was not there before. Empowerment, if you get duplicate champions a lot, you can empower them and they become even more stronger, more stats. That's also a huge improvement. So you don't remain where a champion is and you get duplicates of them and you just keep them right here can actually put a champion in there and empower and i'm not gonna do that because then a faction guardian but i get the point faction guardians helps make your champions um levels go higher well not their levels but at least their stats a lot of bonus starts coming unbinding also you can unbind a champion and get those life tokens that you can use in the token trader to get some amazing champions that's the second thing that popped out to me as an improvement that was made back then till now to the sparring pit I'd love to hear in the comments below. If you notice anything that I don't do, I don't call out, let me know in the comments so I can add it to the list of things that changed. The next thing that I want to look at is this playtime reward. It also changed. The playtime rewards used to give you this energy. I mean, it to give you the silver, the um, mystery shard, this um, potion, 60 minutes to get this um, energy, and then 20k silver, and then the um, arena refill token. Fast forward to 2024, you can now see it has lots more reward for you. That's a lot more reward than I called initially. The first reward used to be 7k silver, now it's 20k silver, and then some other rewards along the way, including this play on points if you're playing on PC, right? So, still huge rewards, a little bit of slight change, but still an improvement from what it was before till now. Let's call out something else that was not there before. In the old version of Raid, you can see that there is this area is empty. This area is empty right now if you fast forward to 2024 it's now called altar of souls in the middle right here and you get amazing stats amazing um abilities extra abilities for your champions they can do extra things that normally is not part of their kit if you can get some souls split souls perfect souls all from this mortal soul stones immortal soul stone and eternal soul stones you can even boost your champion stats further 
by getting them red stars not just the purple stars now they get red stars according to the level of ascensions right here which gives them a lot of stars check out some champions i've unlocked right here can i find them well i can't find them unless i go to my um, champions so that's it a five star ascended supreme atel five star ascended ultimate death knight all this is giving them a lot of stats to the already uh, stats that they are getting from their artifacts and their accessories and from their masteries more stats for the newer content that is coming up is always a good thing so this author of souls solved that problem and it came with a new boss which we also appreciated the iron twins fortress where we will fight to get all those resources that we can do in the author of souls also something that i can do totally free to play it doesn't require me to spend a lot of money to get it done that's what i think about the author of souls it's also a good chain that they did from the old tavern or the bastion that was looking like this and this area what happened to these dudes carrying a sword did they totally remove him or he's still there oh he's still standing there but the name author of souls is blocking him a little bit he's still right there standing still carrying a sword right there the dude is still standing right there the name is blocking him a little bit though unless you move it to that side then you can see him standing there so i'm glad they left him standing there it's not like he made a big difference just a little thing that i noticed nothing much has changed about the market right the market is still the same we hope soon it will be improved though we are lo looking forward to the next big thing that will happen to this market soon some changes will come the gem mine is also still remains one of the best sources of gems that you can unlock when you unlock it with 500 you upgrade it with another 500 you upgrade it to another 500 three times and then it's maximum throughout the entire time of playing raid you always get gems one every one hour 36 minutes this is one of the best ways to get free gems daily in the game so if you've not yet upgraded your gem mine to the maximum please do it you have no reason to sit on your gems because all those gems you see me just spend right now i will get it back eventually i think it takes about 90 days so if you play more than 90 days definitely get, get your gem mine unlocked so Nothing has changed about that. It still remains the same. It's still one of the best ways to get gems. That's why I think they don't need to update it, I guess. The referral program was also changed. Back then, the referral program only gave you secret shards for referring your friends to play the game. You just copy your promo code and you refer your friends to play the game. While they play the game, you get some awesome resources, energy, and um, voice shards, epic skill tome, and even three secret shards if you have three friends playing raid. And also one extra one right here at the end for the three of them reaching level 50 you get this one this referral program was improved so much that it made a lot of players invite their friends and family to play raid i also did it i invited my friends and family they didn't want to play i helped them play the accounts anyways i can but i finally was able to unlock two champions one of them was epic champion called dj massa that you get for just three of your family or friends playing raid up to level 10 and you get fragments of that champion you can obtain but in order to get this amazing chronam that i obtained on this account my main account you have to go the extra mile of inviting after three friends or family to play raid to level 50 another three will have to play to level 40 for you to get this amazing hp bond champion who actually activates hp bond one of the few champions in raid who can do it along with ninja or cc and others who can do it he's amazing and when the jamasa is in the same team with him he goes crazy keeps taking numerous stunts so that's a huge improvement from just giving you secret shards for to now give you a legendary champion which there is no other way to get this champion except by referring friends and family to play raid so go ahead copy your um, referral program code and give to your friends who have not played raid before so in their, they can install in their pc they can install in their phones when they play it you get the amazing champions so that's something that i wanted to check out right here that also changed from back in the day to now it well improved a very very improved referral program um, that is making more players refer people to play raid what else do i have to check out right now the resource tab right here we see energy um what do you call this thing now the arena reef tokens silver and gems that's four resources at the top check out what is in the game right now it's now shortened to three but there's one more that is missing because there is a lot more than just four now in raid there's lots of other currencies in raid so they just compressed all of them to this little drop down where you can find all the other resources 
or the other um things you can use in raid so not just classic arena now tag arena had its own tokens live arena had its own token fortress keys had its own crypt keys well it has always been there crypt keys demon lord has always been there they just added it to this drop down hydra keys was new golden keys was new um yeah i think it was new silver keys was new corset city was is also new so they just introduced this drop down that will take you directly to that content so if i want to fight tag arena i just click it takes me straight to that content i love that about this feature that you don't have to click and click to find your way to get there so you don't have to click here go here then go here that's three clicks just to get to one content so rather the best way to do it is to click here and head straight to that content so it's really really fast and it can show you how many keys you have and how many has been full and how many is about to expire a good way to look at all your resources in one place but i still kept the silver the energy and the gems at the top because those are the three most important resources that you ever need in raid no matter where you are in the game early beginner or end game so i love that new thing that they added that was not there back in the day where you can only see um other stuff i'm not going into deep in the game yet i just wanted to explore things i can notice about the bastion that changed before i go deeper into the other content that also changed so what else you see that i don't have events and tournaments right here but that's because we are in the old server right now so we don't have it of course new a lot of improvements have been made to the chart in terms of moderation and stuff so we can't really notice that for the filters the inbox the filters were so simple back then just ascend things by um what do you call this thing the by the letter or something i don't i forget what this is called so it will just arrange it by order to the top or to the bottom so but you can check out champions back then you can see your artifacts you can see shop at things you get from the shop you can also see things you get from like gems silver or potions and others well the filter was also improved to recently now include a lot more than just ordering things by the date right to now have expiry this is the this is a new future this is a new update so when you set things that are about to expire it shows you by the time things that are about to count down so i will go ahead and claim this energy because it has 21 hours and i think it will expire before i get the time to claim it so you can now order things nothing more changed here this still remains the same but this is the new one i think was a huge one for most players the amount of content that can be held in the inbox did it also improve no it says 400 400 i don't know if that's improved but let's see um there was not a lot right here it just one two three four you have new player rewards so if you're a new player you get all those kind of rewards you have um progression rewards which is something you claim as you get levels to the game you play it and so on claim all that rewards right here and all the way to level 60 till you no longer get progression rewards because you're maxed right well 60 is not the max 100 is the max but news no news available i wanted to show you that that menu also got a lot of big updates to include promo code that's the first thing i can think about when i, when I think about that menu that is on the side the first thing i can think of promo code and these days raid now releases promo codes frequently so um if you do not know the latest promo code was let me quickly check it and share it with you guys who are watching this video without knowing that there's a new promo code in raid well it's not that new it's almost um a week old or so the newest promo code in raid if you've not claimed it is probably gonna be yearly gift i'll pop it on the screen <laughs> i i forgot to announce it when it got released into the game yearly gifts i think i've already claimed it yes i have claimed it so it's so showing valid for me but that's the promo code for i think it's what's active this month if you've already claimed it it will not work for you anymore but that's a new feature that was added to that menu right here promo codes is an awesome resource especially for the free to play players who love free resources the habitat series also brought a lot of resources for us i'm talking about energy chickens gems a lot of habitat and of course entertainment for free we enjoyed the series so much that was something that was not available then and it's still in game today even if you missed it when it was launching you still can claim the habitat series rewards even if you're starting raid today check out see that's a lot for a newer player starting these are a lot of resources even if you let's say you don't enjoy the series for some reason i really enjoy the series i love that 
I hope they do more. We are looking forward whether they'll, they'll do more instead of just this pilot edition. Let's see if they do more like this. And whether they bring it with some energy, with some resources or not, we still enjoy the series as a whole. So that's something that you might not be find in the old version of Raid, but now it's in the new version and it will always be there um, for you to watch this series directly on their YouTube channel. If you head over there, the Raid YouTube channel also has it on their playlist where you can watch all the episodes, including the making of the episodes or content creators' reactions to them also. All right, so that's something that changed in this menu. Is there any other thing? Playroom points, we've already talked about that. And Prime Gaming, this is for those players who have um, Prime, Amazon Prime. You can come in here, click it, and claim some of these awesome rewards for free. So because you have Prime already, Amazon Prime, you can get this for free. So that's also a new collaboration that they did. They also added this frequently asked question and guides. So you can head over there and see some awesome things that are going on in Ready. Fun fact, this is how I found out that Raid has a Discord on this menu right here. This Discord, once you click it, it takes you directly to the Raid official Discord. And you can see other players who are also playing the Raid. Playing this game in isolation is not that fun, I tell you. Join their Discord, you can see other players, I'm probably covering it, but see right here, the Raid official Discord. Click it. So, or Facebook, if you're an older person who still enjoys Facebook. I'm not, I don't enjoy Facebook that much, I don't post there for years. But if you're still on Facebook, you can over, head over to their Facebook instead. You'll see when they post some news and stuff. Discord is where we get most of our information quick before you even see it in the news or anywhere. It's usually shared with us on the Discord. So that's in an application you can install on your phone and get instant connection and chat with others who also play this game or other communities. All right. I'm hoping this one is not a longer one, but let's just say that it's going to be a long one because of all the other things that have changed in Raid. Great All is one thing that I always say, it was called Affinity Bonus Development Zero, Great All would do it, but now it has been changed to something even better. Still Affinity Bonus and now Area Bonus has been added to it to give us more stats for all this other content. Recently, they also increased it to even now include Phantom Shogun, Corset City, even Sand Devil was not here before. New levels. It was just Hydra that I was focusing on because that was the most difficult content. But now, when I begin to fight the live arena, I have a reason because it's from the live arena you have all these medals to do all these upgrades. I, I'm sure you already know that. But back then in 2020, when Raid was simple as this, we are all struggling to get our accuracy to the max, right? That's what all we are just trying to do by fighting the arena to get this um bronze silver or gold medals to upgrade our affinity bonus and get an arbiter that was simple tax that we we're trying to achieve by the time everybody started getting gold 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 over here that's when raid now improved the area bonus and because when it's maxed you now collect gold medals and you get some new type of artifacts as and um, that you can get for maxing out your great all i guess from the gold you get from still beating the arena so that's an, an improvement i guess let me head back to the old version and see what else changed in terms of um, i've talked about missions yes missions back then it was just the habitat our goal was just to get the habitat so back then in 2020 habitat was the only reason for us to do missions and she was so difficult the things you had to do to beat all this content was so difficult for us back then including fighting dungeons at level 20 is what's so difficult but we eventually got it done and Abita became a lot of players fastest champion in the arena and she was abused and used everywhere good reviver and she still is up to today but check out the new missions that are available right now Abita is not the end goal anymore i'm done with Abita. the next mission is raman 2 drake's blood I'm done with Roman 2. The next mission is Marius. So these missions got a lot more difficult. It got more challenging, which is a good thing because once you're done with the Abitur missions, you just think, what else am I going to do now with my time? Boom, something else. And the next year, I think this year, they launched Marius missions for us to also go, you know, to even more end game content and try to get this amazing horse, horse champion called Marius the Gallant, which I'm still very, very far away from, but I did get Roman 2. An amazing champion just like Abita for um arena content. I forgot that Marius can be used though. But 
I don't like that the fact that Marius doesn't have a lot of resources for us to claim, but I guess after this two, we'll see a lot more resources in the part two and part three. Like this Roman, um, well, this one has two resources also. Oh, is it the same? Okay, I think they just compact the resources. They didn't spread it out like it used to be back then. You see all the resources we are spread out all the way. Well, this is also not spread out that much. But that's something that changed in raid. Missions was just Abita. Then the next goal was Roman 2 and then a new champion was added. The next thing I wanted to check out is champions. Champion index right here. You can see 42 champions, 31 champions, 53 champions and 42. So let me just check the first Delirian um, League before we compete with the rest with the others because we want to see how many more champions have been added to raid since then. 42, we are seeing 73 now. 67. That's a lot. Do we want? Let me just do a side by side comparison with the amount of champions that have been added. Can I make that happen? Let me see if it's possible. I don't want to minimize and maximize. I want to bring this down a little bit. Just a side by side comparison to see. Can I click it? One sec. All right. From 42 champions to 73 champions, from 31 champions to 51 champions, from 53 champions to 80 champions, to 42 again to 67. That's a lot. Let's go to all greens. The Galen, the Galen Pact went from 29 to 55, 29 to 45, 25 to 50 double the amount of champions that was added to the game in this um, four years time 34 to 56 let's go to the next faction the corrupted or the next alliance the corrupted alliance you're going to find from 32 to 54 48 to 64 38 to 60 35 to 62 so as time goes on this time this faction that was not added to the game including silver watchers and which one can I think of them? Shadow King faction and I can't remember the last one. New faction was added to the game. Dwarfs was 26, it was also increased. And let me see the new faction that was added. So one, the last one has not been added. So I was right. Shadow King and Silver Watchers were the two new factions that was added, and Dwarfs was increased from that small number to 55. So what does this mean for um, players coming into the game? That means back then we had a few number of champions who could solve problems for us and now you have a lot more champions who can do that same thing that's what it means when raid releases the new champions into the game because back then if we had only geomancer did we even have geomancer back then from the dwarves there was no geomancer in 2020 i forget <laughs> damn seems like it's just a few num few legendaries few epics and a lot of rares so what i'm saying is the problems for the dwarves faction were only to be solved with these champions and back then champions like this did feature in the clan boss as one of those champions for ally protection right or is it increased defense i forget which one they do but basically you now have a lot of options and this champion galalong Braid, used to feature in a lot of arena teams because she was an amazing nuka but now you have a lot of options that you can use in the arena Tommen with cold was available back then and he was nuking everybody or freezing people in the arena mountain king was so difficult to deal with because he was so almost impossible to kill a mountain king with high hp shield on him and damn thunder was the mvp also in back in those type of content till today she still features in a lot of arena teams so i'm just using this as an example to show you the few number of champions that was available then but now you have a lot of champions roster to solve the same problem. Something we had to do with a few champions. You now have a wide range of champions to get that same thing done. And you have a lot of options. Just make sure you make the right decisions. Because sometimes choosing might be, you might build the wrong champions and they might not help you in that content. So always make sure you go for champions. There are some staples who still are valuable today. If you can find some of them, Terrell is still valuable today. You can see from 2020 is still valuable till today. These champions back then was also very, very useful in the arena because of his um, aura. 
speed or at 24 percent is higher than 90 percent that you find in some arena speed lead right if you don't have a habitat yet but today he has fallen off if you get a jingle hunter i wouldn't recommend you building me arena because you eventually get somebody that is better than him as an arena lead uh, habitat doesn't take that long to get anymore that's what i'm trying to say so it's only epics i'm looking at as for legendaries there have been so many that have been added I just wanted to see which epics were still viable to today. Back then, she wasn't wood painted, wasn't that useful. Now she has been buffed, she has been um, changed, her skills have been updated to now keep up with the times. And now she's more useful, I guess, to most players. Surprisingly, High Cartoon has gone nowhere. She's still the champion people get after 30 days of playing raid, right? She has gone nowhere in our roster. She's still useful in the early game and some end game. Um, Doom Tower bosses, where she's the only champion who has this opportunity to play this decreased speed. Still low, a low chance, but now she sometimes she's the only one in your team who has an A1 decreased speed until you begin to get to the end game where you rely on other champions to get it done for you. Of course, her boosting. MVP still in the arena for early game for those players who don't have an Abita yet, but once people begin to get an Abita, they just take all her gear and put onto the Abita. But for early game, she's still useful. You still find this champion in some end game. Um, arena, um, what do you call it now? Demon Lord teams, where she's one of those speed boosters or one of those people who is bringing an aura in all battles. Her aura is not limited to just the arena, it's in all battles. That's why she's useful in a lot of PvE content, not just PvP, where she shines a lot. So that's one champion I can pick out from this faction that is still useful. I've already checked out the banner lords, right? Stag Knight is one that I wanted to mention that right from the beginning of the time, I think it was launched in 2020 that same month and he has always been available in this faction and very very useful i can't think of anybody else that has been more valuable in raid up till today than a stagnite well i have to also give a honorable shout out to Hodin, who used to nuke people with his skills Hodin was so difficult to deal with back then as a pvp champion and pve he used to be a good nuker but not anymore Back then, Savage Set was the, what all you needed to make these champions look hard, not um, all the other new sets that are, that are available now. So, Ogryn Tribes, who is still very useful today, I'll call out my number one Occult Brawler. When you get an Occult Brawler, you have a Frozen Banshee, you now have to decide who should be my Poisoner. Well, both of them, because he replaces the Poison, she activates the Poison, Frozen Banshee can do it alone, depending on the affinity of the boss that you have to fight talking about the clan boss or the dragon you have to use both of them to level 60 full masteries and those two champions i can never forget in the early game of raid and where else can you use them whether it's going to be dragon or ice golem they served for that purpose so he's one that is an mvp and let's not forget about manitan manitan notes needs no introduction from the beginning of the game out till today he has been an mvp his teams manitan teams are just getting better and with better options that can pair with him to make that happen and of course my old fashioned score crusher if you can build build a killable team i mean if you cannot build an unkillable team with manita demeter and all that score crusher is the best way because he's one of the few epic champions who can place a counter attack on all the allies whenever they get hit he joins the attack that's one champion that would never lose his footing in raid because that's where he has always shined the clan boss demon lord counter attack teams and he is gonna be in that position forever because there is not a lot of champions in raid who can do that counter attack sometimes he also featured in some people's fire knight teams where they let the fire knight take a turn hit them and then the counter attack to get that shield down those type of teams are scarce or hard to find these days but i cannot ever forget this champion for what it did for me in my sepulchre sentinel teams and skull crusher teams that helped me get a three key ultra nightmare with good gear of course so just wanted to shout out some of them if i take a lot of time i will spend a lot of time in all these champions but that's not why we are here i just wanted to point out that no matter what happens there are some champions in raid who would never get the light of day who would never get a chance to shine like to wearing titan some champions never get a, a opportunity to become valuable but with the new type of content that came up which is called the corset city right Champions like this who might be the only thing that you can do, you can build and use for that particular content. So we might see content that will require you to build a towering titan, but from the early game, they were never really valuable in content. And till the end game right now, they are still not valuable. But maybe the 
new type of content and making you build champions you've never used and these champions might become begin to come handy so i have started keeping a copy of these champions i always use them as food but I now i'm keeping one copy at least so i don't know what content that might require me to build and use them eventually so that's what the um, index used to look like and i'm not going to talk about champion builds but let's just check about champion artifact sets that used to be available in the game back then you can see offense accuracy speed lifestyle retaliation immortal that's it 2020 that's it i didn't even have to scroll far that's the artifact set you had so you had a few limited type of artifacts you use to solve problem to beat content all gotten from the clan boss um fire knight um ice golem and also the immortal and the crew set from the demon lord now in 2024 you have so many artifact sets and options crazy amount the ones you get from the doom tower the ones you get from the um, forge a long scroll a long scroll a long scroll stone skin hydra so many artifacts with so many options the artifact storage used to be now it's 1500 let me see what it used to be back then can i see it or it's not showing oh it's showing 1005 because i'm connected to the server but that's not what it is back then it wasn't one five the artifact storage was lower but now it has increased to 1005 now you can you know get more artifacts in here and yeah beat content so that's what i wanted to also highlight right here that a lot of changes was made to champions a lot of changes was made to artifacts and where yeah, you can get them from not much to the spider and the well there are lots of new accessories also with special abilities and effects that, that came into the game not much has been done to glyph though glyph is still the same boosting your artifact stats by a few little percentages to get you to the stats that you're looking for so let's not forget about that a huge improvement over the time to our artifacts to our champions also man i don't want to make this one a longer video but i could go on and on and on about all the changes that have been made in raid that has improved over this time but these are the few ones that i can just point out right now in this video and yeah so happy raid fifth anniversary let me know in the comments how you're comparing this feel and look of this new of this um 2020 2020 version of raid compared to the new one the 2024 version of raid in version what version is this I forget does it show anywhere version 8.40 that's the current version so 1.13 compared to 8.40 what do you think the difference is i've pointed out pointed out a few right here hopefully you find this one interesting you find this one useful and for those players who did not play raid back then you can now see how things were back then before I end though, I will definitely get into a battle and see, well, I didn't even say Campaign Dungeon, Faction War, Arena, Demon Lord, that was it. Campaign Dungeon, Faction War, Arena, Demon Lord, that was it. In 2024 now, you have Campaign Dungeon, Faction War, Arena, Clan Boss, Doom Tower, Corset City. New content.